I, I'm a true believer that if MLK, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. were alive today, if JFK were alive today, if our founding fathers were alive today, they would be America first Republicans. I really believe that. Okay, so that's Carrie Lake, uh, also notably uh, campaigning with her, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, independent thinker who seems to love Carrie Lake, who uh, rejects the results of the 2020 election and is like one of the most Trump aligned candidates running in this entire cycle. So just bear that in mind. But anyway, uh, her theory there is that every historic figure, I guess, would not only be a Republican, but would be an active supporter of Donald J. Trump. And in particular, Martin Luther King Jr. would just love Donald Trump and his movement, his white supremacist, hateful, give every resource our country has ever produced to the rich movement. Um, I guess I've, I haven't really studied MLK in like an academic context. So I guess I can't say whether that's consistent with his ideology. AB, what do you think? That is not consistent with his ideology, right? When oh. Martin Luther King, and and this is I suspected as much. This is the funny part with, with y'all MAGA Republicans, right? Is because you assume when you say uh, American first, again, you keep out a group of Americans that you don't like. When it comes to America first, it doesn't just mean white Americans, affluent white Americans, affluent white men, right? You have to include all Americans who are now citizens, right? So let's let's be real, like black people is the only people on this earth that's actually legally free, right? Legally Americans, like there, there's more than just white people that are Americans. And so what you are saying is that Dr. Martin Luther King's um, theory that everyone should be created equal, that everyone should have equal rights, that everyone should be able to vote, right? That everyone should have access to health care, and that we should love one another would be in alignment with your ideology that we should keep people out from voting. We shouldn't allow immigrants to come into our country, right? Um, we shouldn't tax the wealthy to make it fair for other people. We shouldn't make education accessible to other people. We shouldn't teach about other people's gender preferences. We shouldn't teach about other people's sex sexual orientations, right? You like that is not in alignment with his theory at all. Y'all are you guys choose to keep people out of this group and out of American politics and out of American life and then at the same time want to gaslight us and be like no, but we're we're making America first. No, you are making America convenient for you. Yeah. Yeah, you're making yourself first in America basically. You're going to have to swap those words around and then it, then it's accurate. Um look it's probably pointless to try to get right wingers to understand, let alone actively research what MLK thought about foreign policy, what he had to say about Vietnam or something like that, or or what he thought about economic policy and how central to his ideology, the quest for actual equality, not just in society and culture, but specifically economic equality, freedom and opportunity was to, to his ideology. Since we can't even get them to accept what he thinks about race explicitly, they don't understand even that. So there's no chance on the economic stuff, but the idea that he would be a fan of the MAGA movement is just ridiculous. I have no idea where he would align right now. My gut says he wouldn't much like either of the two parties, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. but the idea I that that everyone would would be a fan of you just doesn't make any sense. But anyway, that's our thoughts. Uh, Bernice King actually weighed in on Twitter saying, what you share here is false and dismissive of daddy's seminal work and beliefs, including ending and preventing voter suppression, treating all including, including immigrants with dignity. I invite you to study my father via the kingcenterinstitute.org. I'm gonna guess that she's not gonna take Bernice King up on that offer, especially because she untagged herself from that tweet. But why are you untagging yourself from the tweet? I mean, from your view, Bernice King, is wrong and you can do that research and it will only demonstrate how right you were when you said that he would support the MAGA movement. It seems like you don't actually care about what he thought. You only care to claim him for convenient political purposes. That's what it seems like. Anyway, by the way, and Tulsi Gabbard just sitting there and nodding along and smiling at that. What are you doing? What are you doing, Tulsi? Like I get that her thing is that she's like she's crafted over the last few years that she's supposed to be like an independent thinker or whatever. How many MAGA candidates can you endorse before that no longer makes much sense anymore? 
and not just Kerry Lake, but Blake Masters. How can you go from tweeting about how we need to stand against the elitists and all that, and then go and campaign for Blake Masters, who was crafted in a lab by Peter Thiel to advance the interests of the wealthiest people that have ever lived on the face of this earth? Seriously, seriously, okay, okay. I'm not in charge of your career, you are, but this is the road you're taking, seems like a difficult one.